Good morning. I need a drink. So I'm up really early, stupid early this morning because Chris is on his way to Maryland. And I need to fix the camera, sorry. This is just me being real, being Angela. There. That's a little better, don't you think? A little cockeyed. There, better. Um, he's going to go see one of his other partners. And I'm trying to cope and deal with that and how it makes me feel that he and I have really been working on our communication. <coughs> so I'm hoping that I'll be able to get through these next few days. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and most of Thursday without losing it. It's been... Well over a year since I've been away from him for this long. So we'll see. Um, so this week it's pretty much just me and mom. I swear I cannot get the angle of this right today. Maybe. Hopefully. Um, I'm going to start off using my e.l.f. poreless putty primer. He is supposed to be having a hard conversation with said partner. And we'll see how that goes. I think that this trip will be good for us. I'm trying to keep a positive spin on it. And just Prepare for the worst, hope for the best, but try not to catastrophize. Last night, we worked on relapse triggers and prevention plans. And we wrote them up and I emailed them to our couple's counselor. And we'll see what he thinks of it. I think we did a good job, so uh, probably need to shave my face again soon. Yes, I shave my face because makeup goes on better when you do that. Just FYI. So, um, what else? I've got a really busy slammed week. Um, Today, it started off taking Chris to the airport and back home, and then I have to go get my vaccination in a little bit, like an hour and 50 minutes, and then back home. Go downstairs, make sure there's water softener salt in, in the water softener because the plumbers, the plumbing company is coming today between 12 and 6. And then I have therapy, DBT therapy, from 5.30 to 6.30. I have to figure out where to put dinner in all of that and then probably have to work a little bit this is my day fun times so i've got my primer on i'm just letting it sit a little bit i'm gonna fan myself a little bit my fan broke so i'm using a card that i got from my visiting teacher who is probably somebody who can't get out right now and so she sends letters and cards but she will be my visiting teacher much longer why do you ask well because i am removing my name from the mormon utah church of jesus christ of latter-day saints i'm removing my name from their records i went to meet with the bishop yesterday and that actually went better than i expected considering the last time i met with a bishop it was soul crushing um this guy is a decent human being and he was like i don't care where you go to church as long as you have some place to go. So, I hope you don't hear that. So, I'm going to do a little color correcting because I'm really tired today. 
and I don't want to look like death warmed over. So this is a new, newer for me concealer or under eye corrector. I'm sweating right now, which is not good when you're doing your makeup. But I, I'm trying to color correct the places that I know I have the most discoloration. So let's see how this goes. Um, I'm not sure what else I didn't, I mean, I'm just, it works. It's just not as dark as I'm used to because I'm used to that really deep Mary Kay one. So hi, whoever's online, it didn't tell me. So hi, if you want to say something, please do. You know, if you just want to hear me babble, just hear me babble. Um, so if you're still watching. Chris is on his way to Maryland. I have a huge busy day. I'm getting vaccinated today and I need to work and it's just gonna be a crazy day. So I'm doing my makeup now. So next thing I need is foundation. I'm trying to go through my foundations and get them used up. So this one is one that I have to use up and this is um, Shell Ivory from Wet n Wild's Photo Focus Foundation. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use my makeup sponge from Eco Tools, even though I probably need to retire it soon. Um, yeah. So let's put this on here, and then I'm going to start with my neck because this is a little dark for me. So I'm going to do my neck. The only things I don't like about this particular foundation. There are a few. One is the smell. It smells like acrylic paint. And I don't know what they could do to correct that. Um, two is their shade range, which is almost non-existent in my opinion. I get that they're a lower cost brand, but that still should not give them any excuse for not providing colors for everyone as many people as possible anyway because you can't match everyone exactly I mean I get that but there are so many shades and tones and you know in this world that when you have just like 15 shades or whatever and I don't know how many wet and wild has right now honestly but I know it's less than 40 which is what Fenty has, which is what Makeup Revolution has, which is what a lot of new makeup companies are coming out with. They're coming out with very inclusive makeup shade ranges because people are getting tired of not everyone being included. And so, yeah. Come on, there. So that actually looks pretty good right now. I don't need any more. Happy with it. So I'll put that away because there's still some left. I finally got through the one Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. Um, finally, it, I finally used all of that one that I could. I don't like foundations that don't have pumps or droppers. It's another one I don't like. So, next I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Uh, camo, 16 hour camo concealer in the shade Fair Beige. Show it to you. Um, this one's almost empty, so I placed an Ulta order to get more. Because, like I said, I'm getting very low on this. So, um, I use I use a lot of it. So, like brightening my under eyes because I need something there, right? Uh, this, this though, just dries very quickly. That's why I can only work like under my eyes and then other places. So, and I'm trying to bring it down a little bit too to help negate some of this, this not discoloration, 
not quite right color match. So, so yeah. Uh, trying to get it so I don't have that many wrinkles under my eyes for when I do set it with powder. So, I got itchy, hold on. Trying not to scratch it because it will probably pull off my foundation, so. Um, I don't know who's watching, it's not telling me. So, hi, whoever you are, if you're still watching. Um, just doing my makeup and being chitty chatty. Nope, and it went away, so I don't know who it was. I wish Facebook, sometimes it'll tell me if somebody's watching, sometimes it won't. It's just weird. I don't get it. Mm. So, I'm trying to make sure I get this up into my hairline. Because a couple of days ago I didn't and I could tell. So, little dot on my nose, little dot on my cupid's bow. Bigger dot than I wanted, but one on my chin. And we're going to take this up and down my nose. Yep, just like that. A little more than I wanted on my cupid's bow, really, honestly. I need to keep an eye on the time so I don't go over. And so I get to my appointment on time. Um, there. Just tap my finger on it. Uh, this is so almost empty. I hope I get it more soon. I'm trying to be a little more cautious about how much concealer I use around my jawline and underneath my cheekbone because I'm trying to create definition, you know. Bounce that really well. Bounce that in. Because next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set all of this concealer. So, yeah. Yep, there. So, yeah. Um, so, now we're going to set it with my studio AOA, which is from Shop Miss A, setting powder in translucent. I'm going to start with my eyes as the huge. I really do like this setting powder. I actually, I think, like it better than the e.l.f. translucent setting powder. So, Cedar's going to be pissed when she can't get in here. You need to go lay down. Go lay down. <sighs> She's just going to have to wait a second. Because I have the door closed. So, I could not have extraneous sound coming in. So, give me just a second. I'll be right back. So you could have done that yourself. Okay, I'm back. Oh, there we go. So, there. Trying to get rid of some of those under eye wrinklings that I am getting as I get older and I'm, I really want Botox now. I want something to keep it from happening. Facelift, I don't know. I want a boob lift though. I don't necessarily want a boob job. I don't want bigger boobs. I just want my boobs to be back where they used to be. And I know that gravity is a thing, but seriously, does gravity need to be that evil? Because if your boobs are up where they're supposed to be, did you know this? Your clothes will look like, you look thinner when your boobs are up. And because they're not blending into your stomach. I don't know. I mean, so it's actually a thing. And I can tell when I'm wearing one of my good bras and when I'm not. So. Okay, so now I'm all set. I'm rompo peeled. Set it and forget it. 
So now I need to put something on my eyes as an eyeshadow primer. I think I'm going to try to go in with my Mary Kay eyeshadow primer today. It's almost empty anyway. I need to find another one to take, take its place. So it's just a little dab. Probably a little more than I needed, but we'll work with it. And I do from eyelashes to brow bone all the way up to my eyebrow. I wonder who named things like eyebrow. What makes it a brow? Does anyone know? I've always wondered. Another dab, probably again too much. Um, it's just, sometimes we come up with these words. I need to start listening to NPR again and listening to Away With Words because I really liked that show. So, yeah. There's that. And now I'm going to set it with my translucent setting powder. I didn't put any of my makeup brushes the way the other day. So, you know what? I can find them again. So, I'm tap into some of that powder. Knock it off a little bit. And set this. And do it again on the other eye. Had a little too much on the brush still, but oh well. We will manage. There. So, this is the palette I'm going to use again today. Zodiac palette. Look, it's hollow. This is one of my very first palettes. This is like the third palette I bought from BH Cosmetics. And the series, I watched the reviews on this, and very few people dislike this palette. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And it's like Aquarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Libra, Virgo, Leo, Cancer, Gemini, Taurus, Aries, and Pisces. And each shade has a baked shimmer shade and a matte shade. And then this is a face highlighter in the middle. And I really, really like it. And now my eye decides it wants to itch. Just blew some highlighter out. Blew it everywhere. So typically I either start with the matte shade for Virgo or Aquarius. And I think today I want to start with Virgo. And so it's this shade right here. That's the shade I'm going to use. Tap in with this big fluffy blending brush. Wipe off the mirror so I can see. I'm grateful that they put the names on the actual palette and not on like a plastic sheet like some places do. I hate that. So, but I want to get my makeup done before Chris lands. So hopefully this is more of a pinky shade, like a light rosy mauve color. I like it. And that, again, that's for Virgo. I don't even know what look I'm going for today. I just know that I want to do something fun and pretty. So may even end up being a neutral shade who know neutral look who knows with a pop of some sort of eyeliner so God. um so clean that off and go in with my next blending brush now i get to decide what other shade i want to use Kind of like this purple matte for Cancer, or I like the purple for Gemini, or even the dark purple for Leo. So I'm trying to decide between this one, this one, and this one. And I'm just going to put that in my crease and kind of deepen up my crease a little bit. I think I'm going to go for the one for Gemini and knock off some of that ex excess. Look down, find the crease, and buff that in. Blend it in really well. Hoping to see some of the pink still. Oops. Yeah, I went with Gemini. Sorry. I forgot what color. Sometimes I do do that. I do do. I do do. Sometimes I do forget which ones I went into. And it definitely looks like I'm going to have to go back in the mat for Virgo. Because I lost some of it when I was blending. So, which is okay. That's a good thing. You can go back. You can redo. Good thing about makeup is at the end of the day, it just washes away. And that's what I like about it. I get to be creative and have a new fresh canvas every day. How cool is that? You know, how cool is that? 
So I'm going to go back into the Virgo matte shade and go back in and blend this some more. Just to help with that. Yeah, see that's really helping. Helping bring that pink back in. But it's blending at the same time. Just so cool to watch makeup do these things. Okay, so now I need to go in with something darker. And I kind of want to do a halo eye. I've never really done a halo eye a whole lot. So, kind of want to go in with the darker Leo shade. Yeah, I think that'll work. And I'm going to go in with this flat brush from Wet n Wild. So this one right here. And I'm going to go into the shade, what I say? Leo? Leo. And I'm going to do something different than I typically do. Hopefully it turns out well. So, then again, I may change my mind when I start doing it. Who knows? There. I didn't knock it off because I wanted as much pigment as I could get. And I'm just going to stick with my tried and true today. I may try a halo eye sometime when I'm not doing a video to see if I can actually do it. I changed my mind. That is my prerogative. It's a Bobby Brown song, right? Been listening to a lot of like 90s R&B lately. Oh, how I have missed it. I'm telling you, even though I'm a child of the 80s, I got on my forehead. Who knows? Crap. Great. I'll figure it out in a minute. No, I'm a child of the 80s. Like, that's my main music. 90s music is what gets it for me. I really liked grunge. I really liked... Uh, yeah. So I'm going to try to fix whatever I did up here. Because I don't have a clue. I can see what's happening. What? They don't have a clue. Who? There. Fixed. Do a little dab more. Went back in with my foundation and covering that up. Go me. Must have touched something somewhere. Oops, crap. Oh well, it's working. There. Fixed it, whatever it was. When you're doing your makeup, if you tap and you, when you have an itch, it helps get rid of it instead of scratching. So now I want to go in with a shimmer shade. There's Gemini. There's Leo. Leo is really pretty. I don't think I've ever used Leo. There's also Libra. Ooh, I could do Libra topped with Leo. Ooh, yes. That's what I'm going to do. Libra topped with Leo. That sounds naughty, doesn't it? I'm sorry. Was not my intent at all. But I'm getting that same wet and wild brush. I'm just cleaning it off really well. And I'm going to go into Libra. And I need to see if I need to wet it or not. I'm hoping not. I'm going to put that on the other two-thirds of my lid. Ooh. Pretty. I think this is going to be my one week palette. I think I'm going to do it all week. This I like. Holy cow. I didn't even have to wet my brush for this shimmer. Like seriously. This, this is one of my ride or die palettes. This is one of those palettes that if something happened, I'd be grabbing it. Because I really do love how this turns out. Like, there's not a bad shade in this palette from my perspective. There's just not. Now I'm going to go in with Leo. Same brush. And I'm going to do this just like on the inner, not even third maybe. Just to try to lighten that up a little bit. It's lightening up just a scotch. Just a little scotch. Yeah. I like this. 
Those purples are just doing it for me today. Oh my goodness. I may go in with my pinky on this to give it just a little more pop and pizzazz, but I like how this is turning out. I like how that turned out. That is nice. Now I'm going to go in with the highlight shade, which is in the middle here. This big shade here, and I'm going to highlight my brow bone. This is also going to be my face highlighter, too. I really like this highlighter. So, let's go in above, and I'm blending it with that pink at the same time. So, yeah. Heat kicked on. Gonna knit you again. <sighs> there we go. So I'm not done with that yet. So we're gonna leave it open. I like this. I like how this is turning out today. This is really nice. So I'm gonna go in with my powder brush. I'll dust it off a little bit. I need to wash my makeup brushes. I need to start washing them tonight. And I'm just gonna brush away my bake. And then I'm going to go in and set a little bit in places where I know that I get a little more sweaty, for lack of a better term, sticky, especially when I use the setting spray um, from Ulta. I like it. It helps keep my makeup, but at the same time, it kind of turns sticky at times. So just using the excess powder on my brush to take care of that. Now I need to go underneath my eye. First thing I'm going to start off with, nope, wrong brush. This is a Royal and Lang Nicolors. It's an Ulta brush. Um, it's a Royal and Lang Nickel brush. And I'm going to go into that really deep Leo shade that we used on my outer third of my eye. So this shade right here. And I'm just going to go underneath my lower lash line and blend it up to try to make it look like I've got kind of not a cat wing but a cat wing or a cat eye and I do it with eyeshadow because wing liner and I don't always get along 99% of the time we don't get along I think here recently I've done one decent like one day of good cat eye and the other times not so much so I'm just going to bring it up and out. Let's get a little bit darker right here. I think that side's a little more deep than I would prefer, so I'm going to go in with that original blending brush and try to blend that out just to skip a little bit there that's better definitely not as harsh as it was there so and I want to go into Libra and try to see if that actually I'm gonna go into Sagittarius I'm gonna put some green in this I think purple and green go together really well and I'm gonna put that underneath the matte shade for Leo Maybe. It's going. It's taking its time. Just something fun, something different, you know? Everybody has these weird faces they make when they do their makeup, too. So. Yeah, I like that. I like what that's given me. Now I'm going to go into the highlighter shade. I'm going to use my pinky and I'm going to go into the inner corners here. 
The highlighter shade doesn't have a name, by the way. It's just the highlighter shade. There. Woo! It's popping! It's popping fresh. I'm not done quite yet because I'm going to use that highlighter on my face. But I am. No, I'm not done with the translucent setting powder in case the. Anywho, let me do my brows next. Get my spoolie out. Grab my Ulta brow, brow tint in soft brown. All right, like that. There we go. And now I'm going to brush up my brows, put the brow tint in, and then brush through my brows again. I really do like how this look turned out, and I had no idea what I wanted to do today. You know, no idea. So, again, it's showing me that people are online, but it's not telling me who's online. Nothing. So, I'm just going to roll with it, and if somebody wants to chat, then they can chat. If not, see, they go away. No worries. I just, I like getting on here because it's a way for me to interact with people I care about, my friends, my family. And just, you know, talk to them. Oops. Gotta be a little more careful in places. But. And now let's run a brow brush again through our brow spoolie. I don't know who came up with the term spoolie, but I appreciate it. There, so eyes are almost done, just need mascara. So on to the face. First I'm going to wipe off my lips and I'm going to rehydrate them because they're feeling a little dry. My eczema is flared up on my lip because Chris and I went to Jungle Gyms last Sunday, so not yesterday but the week before. and. He got some chocolate from Germany that he really likes called Rittersport. And he let me try a couple of really tiny pieces. Talking my new pieces. And this is what's happening to my lip now. So now we're going to do some contouring. I'm going to go into my highlight and contour palette by, from Ibby Beauty. And I'm using this brush here from BH Cosmetics. I like this one because I like a really tight contour there. Chris just landed. So let me So, I wasn't quite expecting him to land so soon, so I may have to hop off of here if he needs to talk to me, so we'll see. Uh, hopefully I can get this done quickly. And hopefully his other partner is already at the airport picking him up. I'm not, other than I'm not real thrilled with what's going on but it is what it is and I have to deal with it you know so yeah I'm just chilling and his sugar is high I'm not surprised Probably had a Starbucks and didn't bolus right away. So, okay, now I need my nose contour, lip contour, brush. 
getting better at my nose contour. I'm really proud of myself for that. Trying not to be so harsh with it, you know. I hope against hopes that things go the way that they need to this week. So I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't want to get into that here on Facebook. If you have questions, you can send me a private message. But I'm not happy he's where he's at right now, but it is what it is. So, yeah. Um, I need a blush. I'm going to go in with this blush brush here. This is, I don't know where I got this from. It's pretty, it's rainbowy. I'm going to have to find another blush to replace my Tarte blush at some point. So yeah, um, I don't know what else to talk about. I was hoping people come on and we could chit chat and that would pass the time, but lately it seems like I'm not hitting at the right times when everybody else is able to get on. So. I, know, I mean, I could do another one later tonight, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling, if I'm in an emotional place to do it or not. So now I'm going to highlight. I'm actually almost done. I love these BH Cosmetics highlighters and these Zodiac palettes. I really do. Yeah, buddy. I'm going to do above my eyebrow right here on a high point, which I know is kind of where the contour is, but trust me, it works. Now I'm going to highlight my nose and my cupid's bow. Wow. I'm just like killing it today. I'm telling you. I'm enjoying this. I'm going to leave that there just in case I need it again, but, so I need lips and setting spray. So I'm going to rehydrate my lips some more. Um, so yeah, so wow, that went fast today. Um, I need to get more of this too because it, it burns, but it, I shouldn't say it burns. It's made to mattify. Hold on, I can't talk when I'm doing this. But it's water resistant, which is what I need because of the sweating and such. So. But if it gets in your eyes, it does burn because there's alcohol in it. So, and I'm going to use, it's even though it's in the wrong bottle, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild setting spray. Next, I use two. I used to do it on a brush like Zabrina does, but it pulled, it was pulling up my foundation off my nose. So, this is a Wet n Wild, but again, the bottle's not the same bottle because I don't like the sprayer on that one. And I probably use a lot more than I should, but I want to set face. I'm using this card to fan. Because my fan broke. I hate when it makes noises. Because after this, I'm going to do my mascara. Let me see if I need to highlight anymore. See if I need to set. I'm not thrilled. But I'm going to get through this day. I'm going to try to keep a positive outlook. I really am. I think I went a little heavy with the blush again today. Okay, we're going to use something thicker because that's just not doing it. Here we go. There 
and then I'll take pictures later to post. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I need to go back in with my setting powder and set some of the places like around here. Here. Right here. Around my lap lines. My forehead again. I'm going to do my neck again too. There. So now my face is rumple peeled again. And now it's time for mascara. And I'm going to use this Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara first. And then I'm going to use my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. But first this one. I need to turn on the magnifying side so I can see. This mascara is very light, but helps get that first initial coat that I need, you know. Hopefully you can see it now. My lower lashes, you can. It's a very thin formula, which some people like that. Me, I like drag queen lashes, but I don't wear false lashes. So, we get our false lash look other ways, and this is how I do it. Okay, more on the inside there, and of course I got it on my eyeball, my eyelid. So let that set for a second, and then I'm going to go in with, like I said, the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash, Lash Paradise in Black is Black Waterproof. And we're going to do this again. We're going to have some drag queen lashes, and then we're going to pick a lippy. Never ever pump your mascaras in and out of their tubes. Just don't do it. You're pu pushing more air in and making them dry out more. Oh yeah, Angela's gonna have some lashes for days. Yes. Seriously, drag queen lashes. That's what I want. I want lashes you can see from a distance because it makes my eyes pop even more. So there's that. Now I need a lippy. Oops, let me put my makeup brushes away first. Because I don't think, let me check, make sure my highlighter's still popping. Highlighter's still popping. Sometimes I need more. So now I need to find a lippy. I want kind of a dark lippy. Not gray, though. I'm not sure gray would work. That's my nudes down there. No, I don't want the purple. Okay, so we're definitely in this second drawer that I have. Um, what's this one? This is NYX's liquid lipstick, and I can't read the shade. I'm sorry. I'll show it to you, though. It's this color right here. And we're going to go in with that. I don't know what this formula is, but I really like it. There we go. Now lips are done. I love my lips by Larry the Cucumber. So there we go. I'm going to leave that out so I can take it with me. Put my Zodiac palette away. I'm going to blot my lips a little bit. I got in this corner some. So I just use my... There. There. 
So we're done. Done with makeup for yet another day. So I hope everyone's having a great day. I hope everyone has a great day. And I will talk to everyone later. Peace. Bye.